very tempted to just not use every card now that you've said that. What? What? You may only play one Nubian's Oath of Fealty bonus card per battle. This is a Roman's card though. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Oops. Ah, uh, there's too many things to click. My APM's not good enough. Do I have any double ups? Trade embargo, Romans, British, Metal Food, Great Thinker, Commerce, Partisans, Logistics, Science, Merchant, I have the second merchant. No, I don't. Just the one. Okay. I don't know why there was a problem there. Um. Realistically, it's very difficult to lose this. Um. But if I... What? The Romans one's there. It's at the end. If I play all my cards, then you're going to be happy. If I don't play all my cards, you might be like 99% happy because you're watching my stream. Um, so you like you're automatically happy because you're you're here watching my stream and we're best buddies and we're, we're hanging out on on Twitch. But I can I can make just the slightest bit of unhappiness be introduced into your life if I perhaps don't play the metal boom. All right, let's go. And I don't personally hate Don. I kind of like Don. He's alright. Shit. They go propaganda. All right. I am going to group my units normally and play kind of normally. I think that's Forbidden City. What makes you think that I hate Don personally? <laughs> hey, wait, 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 what? My farms, they are not here. I played the Lakota card. Ah. Righto. <laughs> Guess I'm not gonna build any farms today. <laughs> yes, I see that notification as well. I don't know why that got flagged. It says it's because you're trying to take someone's identity. Or, like, release someone's identity. I don't see how that could be... You did just confirm that you were... And no, I don't see how that would be flagged, but it has been flagged. I'll allow your message manually. There you go. I don't know if that's going to be in radius or not. I think this one will be there. Um. <laughs> I, okay. I feel like you're... Yeah, the, well, I don't know, it's auto mod. It's like not... I'm not saying that, obviously. I think you might need to not build that oil well. Blink. Oh, he got blown up. Okay, that was nice to watch. Destroy the supply wagon. Why are they taking attrition? I don't have attrition re researched. Oh well. I don't mind. Ah, uh, right. I have a free market. What do we got? Uh, Hawaiian's not great. Both is not my favorite. Yeah. This uranium is gonna be contested though. Fuck. 
I totally forgot I'd sent my guys there. Oof. I got a refund on him at least. I don't want to fight all of them at the same time. I don't want to lose any more troops. I can just heal them up later. Fuck. Wasn't paying attention to that one. Fuck, wasn't paying attention to that one either. <laughs> Alright, I should be able to do the rest without losing anything else. Damn it. Wow, I have so many resources. Wait, what the fuck? I can build farms? But... What? Why am I allowed to build farms? I thought the whole point of like the Lakota card is that you can't. You you gain the nation powers. The nation power it says on the Lakota nation power that you can't build farms. Conquering cities isn't rude, it's necessary. A necessary evil, a necessary sacrifice. Sometimes there is something that is bad, but also necessary. I don't understand why I'm allowed to build farms. I need the healing. Oh god. Yeah, put a four while you're at it. Oh, follow follow that guy, cool. I march them so they can try and kill that supply wagon real quick. Best spot, never mind. Um, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> hey man, I have commerce like ready to go and I have Senate stuff ready to go. I'm paying some attention. Although I would like a scout and an infinite queue of that. I think I'll start prepping for. Holy shit, that's so burned. I still don't understand why am I allowed to build farms? Doesn't make sense. There we go. Need that military three to finish. Was useful, get that extra attrition. Ah, and then we're gonna need to build another temple. No granary is worthless to you, even herbology. No, I don't. I'm trying to track this force. This force is more important than economy. I don't need more economy right now. The bottleneck. Wow, this guy's alive. I'm so glad I piloted him around that tower. Um, the bottleneck isn't. Economy. The bottleneck right now is this force here versus my current force. If I lose 30% economy to micromanage this significantly more efficiently, that's a very worthwhile trade off. It's all about what you can trade. Plus, I only have um, five farms. So. Greenery wouldn't be worth it. If you complained about Lumber Mill not having the construction upgrade, I could understand. Um, because that is like something that kind of matters, because my city's under attack. But you're complaining about the Greenery one. Like, dude, I have five farms. Greeneries are not high on my priority list. Capitalism! Die, little scoot. Okay, perfect. 
Wait, what? Oh, yeah, Romans get free foot upgrades. Nice. I can pretend to be Dawn. Uh, cancel that, make that. Cancel that, make that, upgrade those. And now we can counterattack. I think we're just gonna go for his capital. I think we'll just punch through. My spare citizens can build a temple. Two of you can build that oil well. And one of you can go build an oil well right next to the enemy city, apparently. Um. <sighs> you're not even sponsored by Sprite. I'm out. Get a viewer base, you didn't go. Well, you're part of the viewer base, so you're kind of hurting your own objective there. Oh, forgot to research everything. Somehow popped two major cities simultaneously. I think these guys need to build a siege factory, or three. I definitely need to get that going, and then we'll just build a few bunkers to stop them from getting in the way. And. Need more metal. Yeah, I don't think this one's in range. Oh, it just barely is. Yeah. You guys can build a city there. Oh, free units! I get both types, that's pretty cool. I don't know where the light infantry bonus is coming from, but I'll take it. Hmm. Need another library. Still need more metal production, but kind of capped at the moment. And I'm thinking this attack capital strategy is going to be slower than if I loop around to here so I stop getting flanked. I'm just hoping there's no city here because that would be a pain in the ass. the city here, because why not? Everyone's healthy, good. I don't think I'm going to be building any machine guns. Now I can build lots of caravans. One of you go there, one of you go there, one of you go there, the rest of you can figure it out yourselves. Because you are big boys. Did that assimilate really quickly? Oh, that's the new city, okay. Fair enough. Uh. Where did you go? Let's build another fort, and it's nice and cheap because Romans bonuses very convenient. I miscounted. Oh, maybe not. Blink. 
Yeah, their farm's disappeared. This Lakota bonus is really weird, dude. I capture a city, the farms disappear. I start the game, I don't have farms. But I'm allowed to build farms. Why? So strange. A for air. How did... Oh, there's an armored car behind. Well, everyone else can move up. I'm trying to build a city though, I don't want them to do it. Alright, perfect. And then we can just attack from this side. So they can't flank us from behind if we own the territory. What the hell? The water. Okay. Uh, well, that's fine. <laughs> My guys are having a little bit of trouble with navigation. Nothing else to do. Alright, well, that's a very underwhelming way to end the uh, game. Was not even much of a fight. And, like, the cards helped, but. Mm, I don't know. I was a little disappointed by this guy's defense as well. I guess a lot of it was my resources. I had so much income from the start of the game. But it was a bit difficult for him to keep up, I guess. Okay, so now the current objective is to try and take over... ...the... ...other cities... ...before the capital timer runs out. My guys on defensive. Someone to attack me there. Okay. Just need to clear out these buildings, then I can move on to attack the city with my main force this city with my small force. Well, never mind. It's the end. We conquered the whole world. Didn't even make it to, um... The final age. So that that part where I messed up on turn three, three or four, maybe five, ended up not mattering, like at all, which is nice. Um, Seventeen turns, two overruns. Technically, I lost. I think I lost one, two. Three, four. I think I lost four times. Well, like I had to retry four times. It was twice on that uh, defend the capital scenario, where you just get overrun if you try to defend your actual capital. You have to build a second capital. Um, and I had to try three times against the two v one when I conquered India and the Russians defended them as well. I don't think I lost any others, but it's possible I lost 
once or twice near the start of the game and I just don't remember. Either way, that's that's all the territory's conquered. And it's not very exciting at the end of the game as you noticed. Um like once you once you have conquered sort of around half the world, it becomes really easy to conquer the rest. Because you have lots of um rare resources which just give you bonuses in the battle like 10 food 10 metal that just that's so good when you just have like a dozen of those um and then you conquer somebody who's sort of who has a few territories who's been around for a little while and then you just get hundreds of tribute from from conquering them and it just sort of snowballs out of control so the second half of conquer the world in this mode i think is pretty garbage um it's just not challenging. The biggest issue is just trying to race time, but even that's not a problem. Like, I'm playing on max difficulty, it can't get any harder. Um, I think the other campaigns do a little bit better. In this regard. Because they're more scripted. Um, but, yep, yeah, that's, that's a Conquer World campaign. Um... I'd say, I hope you enjoyed, but <laughs> that last little part was pretty boring. I hope you enjoyed some of the other stuff. Uh, the 2v5, 2v1 fight against the Indians I think was actually quite interesting, um, strategically. The defense mission that I, I did fail twice was also quite interesting, I thought. Um, for those who don't have much Conquer the World experience, I hope you enjoyed watching me like buy territories off people and then wipe them out. It's a very strong tactic, you just need to make sure you uh, give them territories that you don't value. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned a little bit about Ron. Um, for anyone watching who doesn't have Ron and is interested in Ron, um, you can get the Extended Edition on Steam. Uh, if you're an Xbox player, it's also an Xbox, but I don't really recommend you play it on Xbox. I think it, the controls probably wouldn't be that great. Um, I have one friend who has it on Xbox. He seemed to not mind the controls, so I don't know, you could give it a try. Um, the extended edition is the base game, plus the Thrones and Patriots expansion, and then it's also like a sort of updated modernized version a little bit. They've updated the graphics, um, matchmaking is implemented, uh, you can get Steam Workshop mods on it, and you can conquer the whole world. It's also available on the Windows Store, but don't buy it on there. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for Conquer the World. Well, Conquer the Whole World. I might do a quick stream of the Cold War campaign at some point, but that's honestly kind of short. Um, unless you play it very bloodthirsty, there's not that much direct combat in in uh, the Cold War campaign, as you might expect from Cold War. Um, <laughs> I've been trying to get McWarrior for so, like recording nicely, streaming nicely, but haven't had much luck with that. It runs properly, but uh, the problem is the menu runs at a different resolution than the actual game, unless you've set it at minimum resolution. So I want to stream that next, now that I've finished Conquer the World, but I'll, I don't know, we'll see. And just real quick, I'm going to turn my preview on. One of the things um, that unfortunately my overlay sort of blocks is this part down here is actually pretty important. Um, I didn't notice until halfway into my playthrough, and at that point I figured I didn't really want to change the camera. But um, you can see how much I'm, I'm getting. Um, so all of this is everything I would get if I played a conquest battle. So that just reinforces my point from earlier. And yes, apparently I don't have the terracotta army. Because 
now I can see that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Maybe catch you in the MechWarrior 4 playthrough, stream, whatever. I'll just chuck my camera back on. Um, yeah. Peace out, guys.